Hi all folks, this is Max from TransformerPrimeRoot.com um, So I've got ROM review of my first ROM review for the Transformer Prime Virtuous Prime ROM um, This one is actually based on the latest Asus firmware uh, version 9.4.2.15 um, And it gets very updated very quickly um, so every time there's an OTA update, um, you'll get it if you can just update your ROM. Comes a DODX, full, fully zip aligned, de bloated if you want. Um, there's an installation video I made, I'll have a link to it where you have an option to uh, take out all the stop, stock apps if you want to, but I left it on. It wasn't too annoying for me. It's rooted, stock kernel. Um, actually, it has a overclocked um, to 1.6 gigahertz. Um, other than that, it's pretty much stock, but much, much faster. And uh, at that mode, it's automatically 1.6 um, gigahertz overclocked. You don't actually need to set CPU, use the set CPU, but I just um, run it to show you. And also, I want to just put it on performance real quick, show you how fast this thing can go. Um, this is probably the most complete ROM right now for the Transformer Prime. I highly recommend it. Um, the reason I waited until you know, until a little bit is because I wanted to make sure the ROMs are stable because the first time they come out uh, with ROMs, it's kind of unstable. But this is completely stable. Um, test it, install it. Uh, you you will love it. Let me run. Um, let me close everything. Uh, actually, leave set CPU there. And let's run quad run at 1.6 gigahertz. That's four cores running at 1.6. Gigahertz, baby. It is so fast. Look at that. CPU just blazing through. Um, you'll love it. Uh, this is probably a great ROM because it doesn't really change anything, but it gives you better performance. Even without overclocking, it should give you better performance, better battery life. Um, so this is just the tip of the iceberg. We should have a bunch of more cool ROMs coming soon. Um, so here we go check out let me see if I can make this a little bit larger I'll show you the frames per second there oh, the message to get back to you <laughs> doing a video right now ah no you're you're ruining my squadron scores yes sir <laughs> now it's probably not gonna make it that much of a big deal um, I haven't actually reused my Transformer Prime because I've been so busy, but I'm going to start using it um, more and more often. And since there's more ROMs out now, I'm so glad. Um, hopefully there will be more and more ROMs. And uh, this is pretty cool. All right, here we go. Um, let's look at the benchmark scores. 47.29. Look at that. That's pretty good, huh? Can you do that on your phone? So here's a close-up of the numbers here. You can see um, the CPU 15,000, memory 3660, IO 2169, um, 2D, 3D, so pretty fast freaking great numbers. Uh, let's do another test. I know a lot of you are interested in, in 2 2 scores. Let me close that up. Um, by the way, when you run uh, benchmark, make sure you close all the windows except for what, ones you need, absolutely need, so you get the absolute highest scores possible. Uh, I'm going to do a test. All right, and uh, start test. And uh, this will be great. So I'm not actually going to go over the other parts of the ROM because it's pretty much the same as stock. Again, it just gives you better performance and also at the um, you get the 1.6 gigahertz mode, which is really cool. Um, so it's running. It, it's really fast. I, I was getting like 12,000 on Antutu earlier, but I'll show you, prove it to you here. And for those of you wondering which is the best tablet to get, probably this one right now it is until um, the new ones came out. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Galaxy Note 10.1 as I've said in previous videos just because I really like um, the 1.4 gigahertz dual core even though it's you know dual core not quad core. Um, 
that's the uh, chocolate um, in the box, and we'll see we'll see how what kind of GPU, what kind of actual CPU that Samsung puts on there. Um, it's going to be interesting. Okay, Androids. So that's going faster and faster at 1.6 gigahertz. Do, 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 do. There we go, and let's look at the frames per second. I think this actually is capped at uh, 6 frames per second. It's, it can probably go more, but I think it's capped uh, software wise. Uh, uh, maybe we'll have ROMs in the future, we'll, we'll break that limit. but. It's pretty fast as it is. There we go. And I that if you're wondering what that bandage is, is I have this gash. I hurt myself. If you want to see, it's pretty bad. Let's actually zoom in to my gash real quick while this is going on here. Oh god, I, I was installing these uh, lights in my attic, a new chandelier, and uh, oh, I electrocuted myself once, um, I had sparks going, I, I took out the wrong wrong line, and I, because it was so dark, I didn't have lights when I was doing it, I was took a, this titanium scissors and poof, it's pretty gone, but it's healing, I think I ruptured one of my, those bloodline thingies, blood vessels, but it's healing quickly. Um, so this is almost done, and uh, it's just doing the car right speed. And you know what I really like about Transformer Prime is the uh, the micro HDMI, um, something that Galaxy Tab 10.1 doesn't have, or you know none of the other tablets. I I think they should put that on there. I mean, if you can, because it's great as a media device, and I can just hook it up to my AC TV. And let's take a take at the numbers. Twelve thousand nine oh four. Ooh, that is fast. Let's submit scores and see how it fares up. Twelve thousand nine oh four. Oh yeah. Do I have the fastest transformer prime in the world? No. Somebody else does. Um. So some people are running at one point eight gigahertz. There's actually a kernel you can install. Um. Maybe I'll do that. Um, maybe next, but uh, at 1.4, 1.6 gigahertz, pretty still solid. Let me let me do another video. <laughs> maybe I can beat those guys. Um, so anyway, that was review of the Virtuous Prime. Pretty much stock, uh, but with optimized, better battery life, better performance. Um, so without doing anything, you just put it on that mode, and you'll get. Um, you'll get uh, I think it's performance mode yeah you'll get 1.6 gigahertz overclocked and you don't need to use that CPU anyway that was the ROM review of Virtuous Prime go flash it I'll have installation uh, video links which was my video before and don't forget to um, if you have a Transformer Prime don't forget to subscribe to my email list at transformerprimeroot.com where we can update you once or twice a week um, when I have time just for you and me and uh, um, we don't share your email with anyone else. If you did, thanks, thanks a lot. And also, um, if you're on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe um, if you haven't. If you have, great. And if you can share it with your friends who have Transformer Prime or share on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus, that would be awesome. And thanks for watching the best YouTube channel for Android. Hell yeah, baby.